my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that Greetings my Kendras, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your wigs from start to finish. I can't remember the last time I braided my hair underneath my wigs. I just haven't been doing that lately, but I had a really long night the night before. So I think I pulled an all nighter on this day and I did not blow dry my hair while it was wet. So that's why the shrinkage is real right now. <laughs> but yeah, typically I just go ahead and I use heat protectant, I oil my scalp and then I blow dry my hair straight. Um, and I like to use these knee-high stockings because it does majority of the work for me. As you can tell, I have like really kinky hair. So like, if you're not braiding hair, normally you have to like stick your hair back by using gel and stuff like that. I don't have to do all of that when I use this knee-high stockings because it literally compresses my hair and it makes my foundation extremely flat. And I just take the excess stocking and I tuck it in the back of my wig cap and I sew that down so that way it stays nice and tight. I also like to use these knee-high stockings because one is extremely close to my actual skin tone and it's sturdy. You know how you use like a regular wig cap and as soon as you cut, your cap starts running? These doesn't do that because it's like extremely thick and sturdy. So like when you cut it, it stays where it's intended to be cut. To melt my wig cap, I just go ahead and I use the Got To Be Free Spray. They say what's not broken, don't try to fix it. But you can also use this olive oil wig spray that I actually do like. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. Then I take my makeup and I apply that onto my wig cap. I also just go ahead and take my needle and thread and I sew the back of um, the wig cap so that way it's secured. Though there, I don't have any braids there, you can also just sew onto your hair. Don't worry, it will not do anything <laughs> to your actual natural hair. And then I use the neutral setting, not too cold, not hot, but you know, that middle setting on the blow dryer. And then I take my shears and I cut right down the middle of that uh, stocking cap. And I just cut off all that excess um, cap that we don't need. Just go ahead and take your time. Please don't rush, there's no need to rush. Perfection takes time okay perfection takes time <laughs> and you want to make sure that we get all of the extra cap off like as much as you can like get as close to your skin as you can because we're going to take our adhesive glue i'm going to be using the kaling adhesive glue this is the glue that i was using when i first started using wigs i just started using this again and i remember why i love it so much but yeah i just take one layer of glue and i take my wax stick and i just um, melt you know because you want your cap to give bald okay you want it to give bald and this is going to help it give bald cap okay so yeah just note that these Nihon stockings are way better than the traditional wig caps okay now before we get into this wig i'm going to get into the unboxing so shout out to hair vv for sponsoring today's video um i absolutely love their packaging i'm definitely taking mental note <laughs> <laughs> um, they also have this true scalp tape. I was like, oh, this is so cool. I honestly I didn't need it because because my ball cap <laughs> was giving, okay? But yeah, you can also use that just in case you want to skip that ball cap method, you know? And then they also have a pamphlet on how to care for your wigs, which I think is really dope. And then they have their about us, you can check them out. And they also have a return label if you wanted to a return or exchange, you could. You just have to make sure that the lace is not cut. Okay. So yeah, let's get into this beautiful wig. I was very, very, very impressed with this wig. It already came styled, it already came curled. This is their 13 by 6 by 1 Haven Blonde Highlighted Wig. I got it in a cap size of medium. It's in 20 inches and the lace color is cappuccino. It comes in cappuccino and in mocha, which I think is pretty cool. It um, They also have wigs that have fake scalp, but this one didn't come with fake scalp. It came Instead, it came with the true scalp tape that we just did not use, but you can definitely use it. It's in 160% density and the knots are already bleached. Also comes with this anti-slip piano key elastic band, which is um, really good for those who want to do the glueless method. Um, today we're gonna be installing it with adhesive, but you can also just wear this wig as is. 
and then I take my shears again and I like to cut my lace into four sections because I find it much easier um, when cutting the lace. And then I take my brow razor and I cut as close to the hairline as possible. I don't like extra lace. I've learned, I used to do the extra lace look, you know, I, it's, uh, it's so unnecessary. I cut as close to the hairline as possible. Don't cut into the hairline, but cut as close to the hairline as possible to give that ultimate scalp look because do you see? is giving lace wear and this lace is tinted it's the cappuccino lace and it's giving very much scalp okay cut as close to the hairline as possible and once again take your time there is no need to rush perfection takes time Now I'm gonna be using that same adhesive that I mentioned to you guys earlier. Don't forget to check it down below in the description box. Um, it's called Kling. I use about two layers. It just depends on your daily activity, um, how you plan on laying your hair. I typically just do about two layers of the glue. And you don't, people, you know, people do put a lot of like emphasis on waiting until the glue is extremely clear. You don't have to put that much stress in yourself. Like, obviously, you can tell that that glue was not extremely clear, but um, I did wait a little bit before I combed the lace into my scalp. But yeah, I didn't have any problems, as you can tell, because baby, it was giving very much scalp, okay? And then I just go ahead and I pull out like my sideburns and cut off that extra lace that we do not need. And you're not gonna get it perfect on the first um, melt. So if you have to go back in and clean up the lace that is still lifting, um, go ahead and do that. I just use my wax stick and just pull the wig back to see which areas still need um, adhesive. I'm gonna hot comb my hair back um, so that way I can see what it is that I am doing. Um, I'm trying to get all the flyaways out of my way. And I'm gonna be doing very natural, subtle baby hairs. If everyone likes their baby hairs differently, I just take, I just do two baby hairs, one on each side of my temples and then my sideburns. That's it, I just keep it very simple very easy um i part my baby hairs out and i'll hot comb it forward and then i'll hot comb the rest of the hair back just to get it out of my way 
there is no method to this madness when it comes to um, plucking. I literally just pluck behind the hairline and just take my time and comb out the excess hair that I'm plucking and I just eyeball it really. I really just eyeball it. So you can speed it up a little bit. I'm personally a visual learner so you can just watch and see how it is that I am um, plucking my hairline. I don't necessarily like to pluck too much because I want my frontal and my wigs to last a, a long time. So I don't do too, 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 too much plucking. I mean, it looks like it's a lot of plucking. <laughs> it, really, it looks like it's a lot of plucking. I mean, it is a lot of plucking, but it's not like too much plucking. You get what I'm saying? Like some people will be liking it to give like, some people will be liking it to give like, oh, oh, it's, oh, this is coming out of my scalp. I mean, it's still coming out of my scalp, but I just got a little full of hairline. <laughs> And then I do thin out my baby's hairs as well. I don't, I personally, I personally don't enjoy um, the really thick, big baby hairs. Um, I feel like mine's is, I feel like the way that I do my baby hairs is like a happy medium. And then with my baby hairs, I just cut them in a diagonal. I take my mini flat iron and I curl under. Um, I find that a little easier. Actually, honestly, I find that curling my sideburns under and my simple baby hairs away from my face is easier. I didn't do it in this video, but I find that to be easier. So just take mental note, when you're doing your temples, curl away from your face, and when you're doing your sideburns, curl towards your face. You can also use mousse, but I have ran out of foaming lotion, so I just used my Got To Be Spray to form my baby hairs, and it was pretty easy. Now, I took the Got To Be Spray before I used my um, edge band to melt the lace more, but when I saw that red tint, I said, oh, what the, what is going on here? I was so confused. I didn't know what was going on because that's never happened to me before. Me spraying the Got To Be Spray onto my lace and then it starts turning red. But look, I was trusting the process. I was like, this can't be real right Like, this can't be happening. Like, just keep going, AJ. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's some the color of the wig that's like counteracting with the God to be. I don't know, but <laughs> I was like, I'ma just trust the process and keep it pushing because your girl got faith, okay? <laughs> now it's time to get into styling and products. There's four main products that I typically use when creating beach waves. The last product is got to be, and that's just for the flyaways. The first three products is a holding heat protectant, hair oil, and volume spray. The first product I'm gonna be using is this hot spray. This is a firm hold heat protectant spray from Kenra's Platinum Line, and this spray is a level 20. I absolutely love this heat protectant and it smells so good. So I take my hair and I part it into medium subsections and I spray the heat protectant on the entire subsection. 
to smoothing out my soft section, I just comb it through. Now for my hot tool, I'm going to be using this one and a quarter inch spring iron. I got it from Ulta, it's only $79. I'll definitely leave it down below in the description box. Okay, so the size of your subsections should typically match the size of your curling iron. For the perfect beach wave, you want to feed the hair flatly onto the curling iron. But rather than totally feeding the hair through, you want to leave the ends out. And after that, you want to use a secondary rotation with your curling iron. So while it's heating, I'm going to twist the iron itself. I'm going to create some tension. I'm going to rotate it again. So that way it creates this elongation within the curl. And when I get to the ends, I just smooth it out and let it sit. And then I just repeat the process over and over and over and over again. The front of my hair, around the frame of my face, I typically curl away from my face and then I rotate my curls. So I will curl forward and then curl away so that way everything's not uniform. Because with beach waves, you don't want your waves to be uniform because then it's giving bridal shower vibes. <laughs> and um, not, you know, that everyday beach wave, beautiful, like effortless look. So I don't touch the curls. I let that cool down, take my edge wrap off. I'm so glad that that red stain or that red color that was happening before did not stick. And I just take my hot comb and I hot comb my part down. Then I just run my hands through my hair a little bit. And baby, Kindred, you see the waves. Them waves are absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I just run my hands or you can use a wide tooth comb. And then I go ahead and I take the volume spray by Kenra and the level of 25. This is like a super whole finishing spray. I should have flipped my hair upside down, but it's okay. I think that the curls came out so good. And now we're gonna be using the got to be spray. I'm just reparting my hair to make it extremely straight. And then I'm just combing those flyaways down and that's it, that's the final look. What do you guys think? If you ended up liking this video, if you learned something from this video, um, if you think I look good, if you're going to try this at home, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you want to become part of the Kindred family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, once again, shout out to Hair VV for sponsoring today's video. And I will see my Kindreds in the next upload. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. I want to see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get